Hello and welcome to my guide for casual bow AT Valkana kills. Since some people have been commenting about having issues with timing out, I figure I'd do a guide based on how I reliably killed and farmed AT Valkana on bow. First, I'll go over the build, followed by a decent casual opener, and then some combos I used to punish a couple of its moves. Keep in mind that these are casual tips, and so far with the current advice, I can kill AT Velcada in 12 to 15 minutes. I'm still missing quite a few god decos, and these times can definitely be improved upon. First thing is the gear. The gear is a raw based build using the Fatalis bow, four pieces of Fatalis armor, and one piece of AT Velcana gear. For my first kill, I used AT KT boots, but I was missing quite a lot of the god decos, so I swapped to this setup after killing it once. With the decorations, you can see the typical stamina management skills, Constitution 3, Stam Search 3. For comfort, I've put Blight Resistance, so that if you get hit, you don't need to heal and eat Null Berries. This build uses peak performance, so make sure that your health is at full as much as possible. Most of the times you end up getting two shot with this build, so it's a good idea to keep your health full anyways. And this build also relies on Agitator for crit, so make sure that you keep her enraged as much as possible. As I mentioned earlier, I'm still missing a lot of the R12 god decos like peak performance and crit boost slash physique. So I'm using crit boost slash maintenance on there. You can sub out a normal shot deco for fortify if you find that you are dying and would proc it. In terms of mantles, if you choose to restock when it changes zones or far cast when you run out of power coatings, you can swap to other mantles. I'd recommend ice proof and evasion mantle if you choose to include a mantle rotation. The opener. A decent opener that I find helps with hunts is based on damaging the head and sleeping it for double damage on the crystal drop. The basic opener includes a double knock into wall followed by a third knock into tenderize. I aim to sleep it under either of the crystals then use the crystal drop for double damage. Optionally, you can aim to use the sleep into crystal combo later in the fight, however it would suck if it slept out of position Whereas, at least if you do it at the beginning of the fight, you can always reset the quest. One really important mechanic that I'd like to bring up is to be careful when re-wounding the head or going for walls as AT Valkana will immediately knock you off and that results in a fairly long pin down regardless of whether you are wearing a temporal mantle or a rocksteady mantle. If you have a temporal mantle on and you miss time clutching onto its head, it will shred the entirety of the temporal mantle. So be careful for that. On to some casual punishes that you can do. I'm mainly going to go over the ice ring attack and the ice cone attack and the nova. Keep in mind that this is what I ended up doing and there will certainly be more optimal ways of punishing its moves, especially ones that maintain your bow charge. The ice ring attack. So the safest way to punish the ice ring attack would be rolling into the center, followed by a quick shot, normal shot, and power shot. If you can position well, you can outspace the rings and charge your next shot. For the ice cone attack, I personally check the floor for ice mist and position safely in between the lines and advance to where its head is. This attack and others that generate ice walls are really annoying for Bo, 
as it blocks the arrows and creates small ledges that interrupt your movement and your dashes. Elkana's Nova involves a 360 Ice Beam attack, followed by an Ice Ring attack. Ideally, if you are close enough to Velkana, you can hug its body and do the same punish as you do for the Ice Ring attack. Thank you for watching, hopefully you guys find this useful. Good luck with your hunts!